Profit Trader video series two. And today in this video, we're gonna go over a pending log right now. Hey, how are we doing everyone? Once again, this is Dario from Media Box ENT, where we make technology simple and easy. If this is the first time in the channel, you see that little M right there, you can press it right now, and then you become part of Media ENT. So guys, you love crypto. This is actually Profit Trailer. This is video series number two. Today, we're gonna be going over a pending log. A lot of people wonder, what is a pending log? When did the appending log is activated? What is the appending log for? Feel free. To use my um, my link it will be right below the video and move up right now from the active income to passive income so let, let's go let's go over it and i show you why we have an appendant lock and when you're going to see this thing get activated okay now all right appendant lock you're going to press it there and then you see now i have something here i have the coin call club coin they see the change has changed in the last 24 hours, and here it says fix. Okay, why? Because I did this manual, and I'll show you why. Now, here is the current price in BTC, and this is what I'm looking for. I want to see if I can get this going to 20, 20 uh, point, I mean 29.84. It's minus 20, 24% because the difference between this and these two numbers but in reality if i show you this i'm losing about 57 percent now this it will not work it's bigger and this is all now automatic we hit execute this manual right now we see the total coins 120 we see the total value right now if in execute and a sale or if ever gets to this number because this is getting me bored already so I'm trying this. I'm going to give you a few more days and that I will shoot this coin out down. So this is a number I'm supposed to get. But in reality, this is supposed to be double of this. Now, why we get this here? Well, it started off in this C lock. It can see maybe a problem right now, but not yet. It's only a, a day, a day, only one day. We see this up to and R2 coin, Aurora coin, Aurora, I think it's Aurora coin. Yeah, Aurora coin. And right now they have a 28 minus 20%. When well, this number starts getting low, it's real scary. And I think when it reaches a point of 50, it must have got my problem. It can be a pop and dump coin. It's so far supposed to detect that. But that's okay. We win. It's only one day. We'll see what happens. If not, we'll have to move this and execute, it, execute this manually. Now this is the DC, DCA lock. I will go. I will go over it in my next video. We're going to explain how this, the DC lock works. To understand this coin here, club coin, I will show you right now. When you click, it's getting up every minute. So I got to pay attention now because let me go one day. About a month ago, that's when the robot decided to buy. Where? Right over here, a little four. You see that number there? What we see? 0.00043. That's almost six dollars. Right now it's what three? It's about three bucks right now. Imagine they bought it for six. See, when they bought it, bought it right over here. The computer saw that it was coming down. It says, "Okay, I buy it." It did. I think it did actually four double downs. Again, that was a problem. Our I would roll it. We didn't configure right in the beginning, and they like four double them. We keep buying, went down more, buy more, came down and buy more. And if you see, now we are almost in the month of December. I mean, the end of December, and you see this thing is not coming up. It went down, down, and it keeps going here, here, and it that's a higher get, and, and it keeps going. And I think it will go up. I think this is only one time. And if even a look, I think beyond. Beyond that point, it never did anything. Look. Right over here, once. But that's it. I don't know. It's not even crypto compared to this coin. It's a crazy coin. So now, why? You will say to me, why do you want to sell it, Dario? Well, why? Because now, what it's doing is, is, is 
this BTC is not doing anything. I can use that BTC right now to do something else. It all depends how much you have. If you tell me you have 10 BTC, maybe, oh, I don't care. Leave it there forever. Eventually, it will go up. But for me, I can execute this and make profit with another coins. Now, what I did is I load up with more BTC with one BTC. But you said, Dario, if you're going to sell this, you're going to lose money. You're going to lose about 50%. Yes and no. I'm going to lose to make more money. But I'm not going to lose anything in reality. I lose, but why? Because when I started, I started with one. What I got here now? Point 0.1. So if even if I told the robot right now, sell every coin you have on hold right now, everything, everything right now, I have nothing in pending lock, so on pair, sell everything, get DC lock, sell everything now, I will still make this money. So I didn't lose anything, I actually gain. So I'm unwilling to let this coin go, go because I can use this or this amount or whatever or this amount right now to buy something else. This was worth almost a thousand dollars a month ago. Right now it's worth only three hundred dollars. But I can use this to buy something else. Because this thing is not even gonna go up. And I don't pretend to become a holder of this coin. I don't care. I mean this this thing, I don't hold any coin. This is a cold harder as you can call it. Go and sell, I don't care what coin it is, and get in, get out, get in, and get out. If you wanna hold a coin, then you have another account where I hold my coins at once a lot. Here, I do not pay attention. That's why I have the robot, because it will execute the stuff with the call harder, which is do it, and that's it. And in the end, that's what we need. In the end, we need this number to go up. This one, it's futures. This one is everything will go well, and the robot does all, well, okay, that's what we get. Fine, but I don't get this number either. My number is this. Now, if this number goes below one, then we start having a problem. Then we say, okay, something's going wrong. Now I'm losing money. But right now, I'm not losing money, so I'm going to wait. Maybe I'm going to wait a day or two. If I see this actually going a little higher and gets close, it's getting close to this number. If I see it's getting even getting close, then maybe what I do, I go to B-Tracks cancel the order and wait a little more and see if it goes up. If it keeps going up, I wait. As soon as I see it go down, I just put an order and sell it. Or you have to do manual. Or I, re I cancel this order and I bring the number a little higher, see if I can get at least close to what I got before. But again, losing to gain more, but if they'll make some money anyway in the end. That's the whole thing in a pending lock. The idea of the pending lock is when you execute something manually, the computer will put it a matter in a pending lock. So you either you execute that manually in Polynex or you execute that manually in Beatrix. Whatever account you use in Exchange will be the same. That automatic goes there. And that has to do your numbers and see if it's worth it. I mean, I was going to sell it the other day, but I said, you know what? Let's put an ask price and just leave it there. If it goes up, it goes. I'm going to wait a little longer. And if I, I see that thing never goes up, oh, just I leave it there. And Eventually will go. I don't know. You see the chart there. I think it was a, a pump and dump coin. We can even see that coin in crypto compare. So who knows? Um, and again, it was right in the beginning when we started working with the robots. So maybe with configuration problems. You have to be careful because if you config this thing running, it can, it can do some crazy stuff. But for now, it's working for us. So if you have any question, if you want to know anything else, or if you know something better than what I'm talking about in this video, just let me know. Leave a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye.